Let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. I'm making you a nice, big, juicy steak. Ma, I've been a vegetarian for 12 years. Blah, 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 blah. She's driving me crazy. Ah, uh, she's your mom. That's her job. New Orleans ad executive Marley Corbett is a free-spirited woman who embraces her easy sexuality, shuns commitment, and gains support and strength from a close circle of friends. Then Marley learns she has terminal colon cancer. Despite her determination not to be tied down in a serious relationship, Marley finds herself falling in love with her handsome doctor, even as her health slowly deteriorates. I love you. How does a lunatic like you help a guy like me? You have to live with me here for a month. <laughs> you live in a box. I could lift the lid. Live here and let you mess with my head for a whole month. Yeah, we can start midnight, 1st of November. Nelson is a man devoted to his advertising career in San Francisco. One day, while taking a driving test at the DMV, he meets Sarah. She is very different from the other women in his life. Nelson causes her to miss out on taking the test and later that day, she tracks him down. One thing leads to another and Nelson ends up living with her through a November that will change his life forever. Spending two consecutive nights with the same woman or finding out this thing might not be as crazy as it seems. You defy every law of nature I know. November is all I know and all I ever want to know. What's your name? Hazel. What's your full name? Hazel Grace Lancaster. Why are you staring at me? Because you're beautiful. Hazel Grace, a 16-year-old cancer patient, meets and falls in love with Augustus, a similarly afflicted teen from her cancer support group. Hazel feels that Gus really understands her. They both share the same acerbic wit and a love of books, especially Grace's touchstone, an Imperial Affliction by Peter Van Houten. When Gus scores an invitation to meet the reclusive author, he and Hazel embark on the adventure of their brief lives. I can't tell you how thankful I am for our little infinity. It's a good life, Hazel Grace. Okay. Okay. People with CF aren't supposed to get within six feet because we could end up catching each other's bacteria. You followed me. With the intent of introducing myself, I'm Will Newman. You're the kind of guy that ignores the rules because it makes you feel in control. Am I right? You're not wrong. You think that's cute? 17-year-old Stella Grant spends most of her time in the hospital as a cystic fibrosis patient. Her life is full of routines, boundaries, and self-control all of which get put to the test when she meets Will Newman, an impossibly charming teen who has the same illness. There's an instant flirtation, though restrictions dictate that they must maintain a safe distance between them. Five feet apart. Are you in? He hates me. Every time I speak, he looks at me like I'm stupid. To be fair, you are pretty stupid. Yeah, but he doesn't know that yet. <laughs> Young and quirky Louisa moves from one job to another to help her family. Her cheerful attitude is put to the test when she becomes a caregiver for Will Trainer, a wealthy young banker left paralyzed from an accident. Will's cynical outlook starts to change when Louisa shows him that life is worth living. As their bond deepens, their lives and hearts change in ways neither one could have imagined. I have become a whole new person because of you. Do you know something, Clark? You are pretty much the only thing that makes me want to get up in the morning. Wait for me to come. I need help with my work. You're asking me for help? Please. Okay. Landon Carter is coming here. Dad, I'm not a child. <laughs> In North Carolina, Carter, a famous high school senior with no plans for the future, 
falls in love with Jamie, a guileless young woman, he and his friends once scorned. The two develop a powerful and inspirational relationship, in which they discover truths that take most people a lifetime to learn. And why would that scare me? You want to be with me too? I might be bad at it. It's not possible.